to be honest, I wanted to be a fashion designer. That was my main thing because I loved science and I really enjoyed it, but I never felt I was good enough. Uh, I think that was my biggest thing is that I, I, I did fine. I, I got A's, but I still felt like I wasn't good enough. It wasn't my strong point. So I went with what I felt like I was better. I was better at art and creative stuff. So I thought, well, I'm just going to stick with that because I know I can do it. I know I can do it relatively easy, easily. Um, but a lot of it was because I didn't know what roles there were out there for, for trying to pursue science or something a little bit more academic. There is no real average day, but quite often what I would do as a trainee, um, I come in and um, I, I do actually work as a scientist, so, so I, I read my bench and then I go off and um, try and do my studying um, and also I try and do extra training and learning um, on, on the benches as well, so I'm actually performing experiments um, and trying to find out um, what's causing infection for people and try and do background research and, and learning on the job. Really, I wanted to work for the NHS because I wanted to, to try and help people. Um, and my role as um, within the laboratory is this sort of helping behind the scenes, which I, I quite like. So we are making a big difference. I'm helping people, I'm helping people get better, finding out what's wrong with them um, and trying to find them the best course of treatment. So for me, that's that's one of the, the biggest things. Um, but also working in the NHS is, and um, the people I work with are fantastic and um, it's really good for support. For me, the, the best thing about doing an apprenticeship is the fact that I can work as well as study. So I'm earning whilst I'm learning and I'm learning on the job. So I'm actually learning practical skills for the work that I do, which is fantastic. Working and studying, you have to be very organised um, with your time. So I try and plan my week um, what sort of time I'm going to have, which isn't easy um, with working in a laboratory or working in the NHS because things change constantly. Um, but I try my best to organise my time to make sure that I'm you know, efficient in working, efficient in studying, and also getting downtime as well. When I was at school, I wish my, I knew about my job. I wish I knew that there were hospital laboratories, um, you know, that people are there um, actually doing scientific work, um, and the fact that there is actually apprenticeships to be able to do that, to be able to learn to do that. Being able to um, do an apprenticeship um, as a scientist, it means I can work practically, um, whereas I felt I wasn't very good academically at school. Um, I, I did fine at school, um, but I didn't feel, feel like I had the academic skills to progress forward. Whereas with an apprenticeship, you can utilise more of the practical skills, which I was, I'm very good at, and that's my main thing. Um, and then um, my colleagues within work and my tutors help me with the academic side um, to get that background knowledge. So that's one of the best things and I really wish I knew that at school. <laughs> My advice to give to young people to work in the, in the NHS is um, have a little look at the different job roles. Um, try and see if you can actually go and have a look and see what people do and see, um, see, see the different, you know, if you find something that you're interested in, whether it's nursing, whether it's science, whether it's accounting, whether it's marketing, whether it's managing, seeing whether you can get into those job roles and, and just have a little look and see what people do day to day. Um, that's something that I would really advise. Um, so it gives you a bit of an idea of what roles there are because there are so many different roles within the NHS um, and it, it'd be great for people to, to see, um, you know, great for, for young people to see what actually goes on, how things work. So that's probably my biggest advice is just to try and see what goes on in the NHS, you know, see what people do. You have to be relatively creative to, to, to do science because you're having to look at things differently. You're having to, I'm having to interpret, I'm looking at bacteria on plates and I'm having to look and interpret and investigate. And quite often you need to have a different sort of mindset to be able to link things together, which I think a creative mindset tends to, to have a bit more of. And you tend to find that actually a lot of people who are working with me, they're quite creative. They do loads of crafts and um, and those sorts of, of hobbies. So, so yeah, so it does actually go hand in hand really.